Good day, fellow mathematicians! Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss a topic in abstract algebra. And that topic is the introduction the introduction to groups the introduction to groups i haven't discussed any topics about abstract algebra this will be the first video and i want you to i want to welcome you all of this series because i am planning to create um, abstract algebra um, topics and discussions in this channel but before that let's discuss what are the fundamentals of abstract algebra and let's discuss the definition of what is a group now this is the definition by walter von dick and heinrich weber from 1882 sino siya sino sila ito si si dick the pronunciation niya. and this is weber they were the ones who was responsible of knowing the algebraic properties of this definition. However, the term group was because of Evariste Galois. This is the pronunciation, Evariste Galois. And this is Galois. Now, what did they study? Ano yung inaral nila? Itong definition na to. A group is a non-empty set G together with a binary operation star on the set G. Diba? Ibig sabihin, non-empty siya, and there is a binary operation existing on that non-empty set G, such that the following properties hold. Sabi, given that yung G mo ay non-empty, and may binary operation na star, at nag-hold yung tatlong ito, group ka. Now, what are the three properties? Let's call the first property as G1. Star is associative. Yung binary operation is associative. How can we write it in symbols? We write it as for all A, B, C in the, um, the non-empty set G. We say nasa loob sila ng G. Then A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. We say yung grouping symbols nandyan. Or dahil associative nga siya, we can write it as this without ambigu ambiguity okay now the second property we call g2 there exists an element e in the non-empty set g such that for every a for every a na hindi empty set na nasa g a star e is equal to a is equal to e star a ganun lang yon ibig sabihin yung ano na yon Yung element na E na yun, pag nag-apply ka ng binary operation sa kahit anong element sa G, ang resulta yung sarili niya. ba? <clears throat> Finally, the third property we call G3. What is it? For every A, for every element in G, na pangalan A, there exists an element na A inverse. A inverse na nasa G din, such that, a star A inverse is equal to the E na pinangalala natin sa property number 2. Which is equal to A inverse star A. Now, if if that if those three hold, then you are called a group. Ganun lang kadali, di ba? Now, let's have uh, more definitions. Now, halimbawa, ang tanong natin, if there will be a case that, if there will be a case na hindi mag-hold yung Isa dun sa mga yun, meron ba mga pangalan yun? Meron. Let's star be a binary operation again. On a non-empty set S. Pangalan, pangalan na natin siyang S, not G. Now, if G1 is satisfied, G1, sino si G1? Kaya ako nilagay dito para hindi na kayo babalik dun. Ito si G1. Pag hindi daw ito na-satisfy, yung, yung star is associative, then yung bagong group, yung bagong set, na S comma star is called a semi-group. ba? Semi-group ang tawag sa'yo kapag hindi na-satisfy yung G1. Ay kapag na-satisfy ang G1. Pero yung G2, G3 hindi na-satisfy. Yun ha? Pag si G1 na-satisfy pero yung G2, G3 hindi na-satisfy, you are called a semi-group. Ngayon, pangalawa. If both G1 and G2 are satisfied, itong star is associative and there exists an element E in G, ganito, then you are called a monoid. 
yung S comma star is called a monoid. Ganun ka. So ulit, kapag G1 is satisfied, you are a semi-group. Pero if both G1 and G2 are satisfied, then you are a monoid. Ganun. Now, there's another term in group theory na famous. Yung pinangalanan ni Niels Heinrich Abel from 1802 to 1829. Sa kanya pinangalanan nito, this is Abel. Now, a group G is called abelian, the Abel, abelian, if its binary operation is commutative. Kaya natin sinusulat sa taas sa definition, itong mga to, kasi hindi palaging nagko-commute yung elements mo. Ibig sabihin, you can write it as yung interchangeable. Di ba? Ganun ang commutative natin sa mga pambatang algebra, di ba? Ngayon, alam na natin kung ano definition ng group. Alam natin yung semi-group, monoid, and what is a billion group. Ngayon, let's have a few examples. Ano nga ba mga famous examples ng groups? Ngayon, let's have this. Halimbawa, halimbawa, one. We know for a fact, we know for a fact that Z is closed, closed under, under addition and multiplication. Alam natin yan. This is a fact from algebra, from yung mga pambatang algebra natin. Ngayon, determine, determine if, if the following, if the following are groups. Determine if the following are groups. A, yung, yung Z, tapos yung ano, addition, tapos yung B, Z, eto. Ngayon. Ayan, di ba? Ngayon. Meron pa pala akong remark na, ano, na medyo nakaligtaan. Meron tayong nakaligtaan na remark. Ganito. Wait lang, ha? Ganito yan. Hmm. Ngayon. I want you to pay close attention to this remark. Ganito. Ito. Diba? Ganito. We denote a group G with a binary operation star by G comma star or simply G if the binary operation is clear from the context. Hindi na natin ito kailangan isulat as ganito. Pwede na natin siya isulat as simply as G if malino naman kung ano yung tinutukoy nating binary operation. Yun lang naman. And pero dito, dahil nagsisimula pa lang tayo, we will write it in the usual conventions. Ngayon. Solution. Dito tayo sa una. A. Determine if it, they are groups. Ibig sabihin, we need to check the three properties. Ngayon. G1. di ba sabi? Ang question dyan is addition associative. Associative in Z. Yun yung magandang tanong. Answer, of course, yes. Of course, yes. On Z, on Z, addition is indeed associative. Alam natin yun. We don't need to verify this. Next. Ano yung G2? Yung may nag exist daw na, ano, na E. Ngayon. It is known, it is known that Zero is the additive, the additive identity. It is known that zero is the additive identity on the set of integers z. Diba? Since for all a na integer, diba? a plus zero is equal to a is equal to zero plus a. Kung baga, yung e na tinatukoy ng definition, e si zero yun sa set of integers. Ngayon, isa pa. Sa G3 naman, on Z, on Z, it is known, it is known that negative a is the additive, additive inverse. It is known that it is the additive inverse since for all a na integer, a plus negative a is equal to 
negative a plus a is equal to 0. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, nasatisfy mo yung tatlo. Hindi eh, na tawag sa'yo. Group ka. Pero, alam natin na isa pang condition yung C, on Z, addition is known, known to be commutative. Addition is known to be commutative. Anong conclusion mo? Therefore, Z plus is an abelian group. An abelian group. You are an abelian group. Diba? Dahil dun sa tatlong, yung apat na yan na satisfy mo, therefore you are abelian. In fact, in fact, Z plus R plus C plus and Q plus are all abelian groups. Abelian groups. And you can prove them by the similar matter above. Ganun siya. Ngayon, yung pangalawang ano naman natin, pangalawang hinuha, ano, yung Z, Z star, ay Z multiplication, is it a group? Yun yung pangalawang ano natin, B. Ngayon, check ulit natin yung G1. G1. On Z, alam din natin na yung multiplication is associative. Associative. Tama? So, okay yung G1. G2. It is known. It is known that 1 is the multiplicative multiplicative identity identity on Z. Siya yung multiplicative identity. That is, that is, for all A in the set of integers, A multiplied by 1 is equal to A, which is equal to 1 multiplied by A. Tama? So, okay tayo sa G1 and G2. ba? So, tignan naman natin sin, ano nangyari sa G3. Ngayon, G3. However, however, in order, in order to get one, yung identity, yung identity, anong gagawin natin? We have to do, we have to do this. We have to do A multiplied by 1 over A is equal to 1. Ay, is equal to A. I know. It is equal to 1. Is equal to 1 for all A in the set of integers. Ngayon, titignan natin yung cases. Case 1. If A is equal to 1 and A is equal to negative 1, then, we have no problem. Kasi 1 and negative 1 are the, are the multiplicative, multiplicative inverse respectively. Respectively. Wala tayong problema. Kasi yung 1 and negative 1, kapag ginawa mo to, halimbawa, 1 multiplied by 1 over 1 is equal to 1. How's your negative 1 multiplied by 1 over negative 1? This is negative 1 times negative 1 or positive 1. Tama? Okay yan. Pero, case 2. If A is not equal to negative 1 and 1, then, halimbawa, sabi natin 2 ka. About 2. Tapos, ang magiging 1 over 2 is equal to 1. But ang problema, 1 half is not an integer. Wala ka na sa set of integers. Tama ba? And kapag kinonsider mo yung 0, 1 over 0, di ba hindi naman pwede yan? So therefore, not every element on Z, kapag in-apply mo yung multiplication, has a multiplicative inverse. E di yan ibig sabihin nun. Z, multiplication, is not a group. Diba? Is not a group. However, nasundan mo yung G2, G1 and G2. Ibig sabihin, Z 
ito is a, ano? Ano siya? Tignan natin ulit. Is a, kapag G1 and G2, you are a monoid. Therefore, is a monoid. Ayan, monoid yan. Ngayon, in fact, in fact, yung C multiplication, R multiplication, and Q multiplication are not groups. Ngayon, ang naging problema lang naman dito, yung case na yung may mga fractions kasi hindi na sila nasa domain ng Z. Paano kapag tinanggal natin sila? Ngayon, alam natin, we know that, we know that, zero has no multiplicative multiplicative inverse. Alam natin yun. Wala siyang multiplicative inverse. However, unlike Z, unlike Z, kapag tinanggal natin siya sa pamamagitan ng gantong notation, ito, tapos yung C na ganito, and sino pa ba yung Q? Pag tinanggal natin yung mga yung zero sa pamamagitan ng notations, therefore are all abelian groups. They are all abelian groups. Ayan. They are all abelian groups. Yan ang masasabi ko. And lastly, I want to note that yung n tapos yung addition is a semigroup. Semigroup. Ito yung to, veri to be verified. Verify. I hope you learned something today. I hope that you have appreciated the first discussion about the notion of what a group is, what an abelian group is, and what are the standards of becoming a group. In the next video, we will be discussing a lot of examples in group theory and abstract algebra in general. And until then, mathematicians, keep safe and have a great day. Goodbye now.